Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to replace the handlebars on my salsa. Um, I'm going to put these new Cro-Mag bars. I actually have 35 millimeter handlebar and I have a new profile helm stem. The stem is 45 millimeter length, but it's a 35 millimeter clamp. So pretty stoked about that. These have about a 35 millimeter rise, I believe. Um, so yep, there it is, 35 millimeter rise, um, 800 millimeters wide and eight degree back sweep. So they're not super swept back. Um, and they're gonna be a little bit wider than what's on the salsa, not a ton, but um, so I'm kind of excited. So these bars are actually in a pretty good position. So I'm gonna explain this to you a little bit. What's going to happen is I want to lower the stem down and get rid of some spacers. I really don't like having a ton of spacers because what happens is because due to your head angle, when you have more spacers, you're actually moving the bars back that way. And if you really look, they move a lot. Like half that distance is probably a good 10 millimeters forward. So, um, if you're trying to raise your handlebars, this is the wrong way to do it because then you shorten your cockpit. If you add a bunch of spacers and you know, that's raising my handlebars into a better position, you're actually bringing the handlebars closer to you, which isn't necessarily ideal because then you shorten your cockpit. What you want to do is you want to get taller bars if you want the front end of your bike to be higher. So um that's kind of my little thing here and so this bike came with all these spacers and i don't like it i want my bars and my stem and everything to be a little bit further forward and then by raising the bars and all of the metrics that come out those bars are gonna be roughly in the same position as these but it's gonna look a lot cooler a lot better i just i honestly i just do have not liked the look of these handlebars from the moment I saw them on this bike. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to swapping them out and check it out. Okay, I have them installed and they look way better than the other bars did, at least in my opinion. I don't know what other people's opinion. I've kind of got like different shades of purple going on here, but whatever. So here they are. So you've got kind of a pinkish purple pike. And then of course you got this interesting whatever pink purplish color you want to have on the frame and then more of a like a true purple on the handlebars um but i mean i think it looks fine i mean they're all kind of within the same color group so it doesn't look too terrible um but yeah you can see how they have more rise to them um and if you look here i don't have so many spacers anymore so this isn't lifted way up uh this new profile helm stem i love these um super sweet um i did weigh the stem handlebar combo here versus the stem handlebar combo i just took off right there um and these were like 0.99 pounds and this combo was 0.95 pounds so not shaving a lot of weight going with this but at least i didn't add weight and this like this bike is uh, pretty light um so um now that i've been talking about weights and i thought about this earlier i haven't weighed this bike on my scale yet so i'm gonna hang this on my scale weigh it see what it weighs okay there it is hanging on the scale it's not touching anything that's good let's see what it weighs wow just under 31 pounds, so 30.84 pounds. That's pretty light for a full suspension bike like this. Um, so that's why this bike feels so good, is it's shaved a lot of weight. So my Rip Moe F that I recently owned, that was around 34 pounds. I got it shaved down to closer to 32, 32 and a half. Um, then I had temporarily for a very short time that Rocky Mountain Instinct, that thing was closer to 36 pounds. <laughs> and so this bike 
it's 30.84 pounds and my salsa or salsa um esker hey duke is right around 29 and a half or so so these bikes are with uh, close to being within a pound of each other and this is a full suspension bike and my esker is a hardtail so uh, both of those bikes this bike and my esker hey duke i love riding them because they feel really snappy and quick and weight is part of the reason why so so that's pretty cool. So now I got the handlebars I want on here and keeping the weight down, um, pretty sweet. And if I really wanted to get this sub 30 pounds, I bet you if I upgraded to like an XT crank and maybe some, you know, a few lighter weight uh, Sh Shimano components, it would def definitely be able to get it sub 30. Do I really care that much? Yeah, I don't know. It feels pretty light as it is. Anyway, this is awesome. I'll be riding this up in Cuyuna this weekend. I'm really stoked about my new handlebars and stem. They just look so much better. Um, so I really appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.